Excuse me. Someone is looking for me. I am the cardiology fellow. You have an ST elevation, am I here? Yes. Thank you for coming so quickly. That's all right. I am used to you paging all night every night. Where is the patient? The patient is in critical care 5. He is 17 years old and was brought in by ambulance from a hot dog eating contest where he developed chest pain. He has his T elevation on the telemetry monitor. What? He is 17 and grabbing his belly after eating 32 hot dogs in 5 minutes and you think he is having a heart attack? Well there are his T changes on the monitor. He needs to go emergently to the cath lab. The tele lead is attached to his ear. Do you have an ECG yet? No, but his CAT scan is negative for a P and we have sent off cardiac biomarkers to the lab. He is also complaining of being lightheaded and clammy. This is clearly a heart attack. He must go to the cat lab. He is lightheaded and diaphoretic because he just ate 8 pounds of meat byproducts. He has no cardiac risk factors and... <laughs> and he just went pain-free with a tremendous release of gas. So you aren't taking him to the cat lab? Um... No. Well, how about him? Who? That other gentleman that has chest pain. Does he have ST elevations on an ECG? We don't know yet. We haven't been able to check. He has been in leather restraints since arriving but he has chest pain and should go to the cat lab. Why is he in four point leather restraints with a police officer at the bedside? He apparently lost a bunch of money betting on the hot dog eating contest and got in a fight. At some point he was kicked in the chest. He still wants to attack the hot dog guy, but now he has chest pain. He needs to go to the cath lab. No he is not going to the cath lab and neither is the guy next to him with the knife protruding from his thorax. I was going to ask about him next. I know you were. I will, however, take you to the cath lab. Why would you do that? Because after I finish kicking and stabbing you in the chest, you two will have chest pain. I see. So I am guessing you won't be interested in the lady with tachycardia with a fever of 104. No. Or the 98-year-old demented lady with stage 4 cancer. Don't even bother finishing that sentence. No, no, no. And no to the next patient as well. But, wait, what about that man? Which one? The one there. Him. He is a diabetic who was only complaining of jaw and arm pain. He can wait. Besides, he doesn't seem to be complaining anymore. You jackass. He isn't complaining because he is in the systole. He is dying. Begin CPR. We should ask him if he is having chest pain. Begin CPR. And check cardiac beer markers. Begin CPR. Now. Let's get an ECG and check for his T elevations so you can take him to the cath lab. There are no ST elevations when there are no ST segments. Ah, good point. Maybe I should go push on his chest a little bit. But I probably shouldn't push too hard. It might give him chest pains. You are a moron. <laughs>